We have some spiritual teaching coming up, but how about a few questions from some of you? Okay. Um, there's two very similar questions. Um, both of them came through as anonymous. Okay. Uh, one, uh, I, I come from a Christian background. I know beliefs and perceptions can change. I don't necessarily want to become a medium. I have, however, been meditating and expanding my awareness more and want to go much further with this. I just have trouble with these things when I know what the Bible says, that no one comes to the Father but by me, meaning Jesus, and believing that he is the one and only Son of God. Um, and another one that really is asking the same thing. Um, my family being deeply religious seems to be a block to my mediumship. I feel conflicted despite the logic and feeling of love involved in mediumship. Do you have any advice to clear the guilt and fear? Well, I do find it very interesting that this morning in meditation, my guide, Sanaya, said to me, no one comes to the Father but through the Christ. I don't normally hear phrases like that from Sanaya, but the point they were making to me was, all of us are the Christ. All of us are the extension, the child, the expression of the Father. All of us are love incarnated. And so the way to get back to love, the way to come back to knowing oneness with the source is by realizing I am that expression. And one who realizes that is a Christ. Jesus realized that. And it's up to each one of us to determine what story in human form serves us in getting to that place of knowing that all of us are love at the center. So I will, you won't find me debating the Bible or different religions at all. All paths lead to that place. So many religions have commonalities spirituality differs from religion in that it is experiential. It's your spiritual path. And that's why it's really good to study with different teachers. It's really good to read different books. But the very best thing is to go within, to go into the silence, to touch your heart where you have that intimate, ongoing, everlasting, inseparable connection with the source because you are a part of that and your soul knows that and that's where the conflict comes up because people are trying to tell you what to believe. And there is truth in every religion, but no one person in this limited reality has the whole story of something that is limitless. So embrace the conflict. Ask in the silence, what does this feeling that I don't like have to teach me? Where is the fear coming from? Because fear is the opposite of love, which is who you are. It is why you're here, for the soul to shine that love outward and inward. And this is the challenge with religions, because it's an organized belief, serves a purpose, but many times if you don't stay in the box, then there's fear. That's why spirituality is individualized and much freer. You can have both. So just take it day by day. Ask your guides for help. Hold on to the beliefs that serve you. And as beliefs expand and some need to go by the wayside, bless them. Feel gratitude for how they served you to this point. And keep raising the love, which is why we're here. <laughs>